Hello guys, my name is Doug and today I'm going to show you how you can open and export a PDF from Affinity in Corel Draw. It doesn't matter the version, I tested it with 17, 18, 20 and 21 uh, and it works. 16 is not still uh, tested, but you can try it. So, uh, I work with a lot of guys which use uh, Corel as a vector program and a design program. Uh, I'm using Affinity because it's more cheaper and I learned it and I'm not giving up on it. So, uh, you've made your project and you, now you want to export it to send it to somebody who uses Corel Draw. You just need to press on File, Export. You can also use the shortcut uh, that was next to it. If you're gonna go to PDF, uh, you you will have selected PDF for print because that's the most used one, and it works with everything except the Corel Draw. Uh, right now, how you can solve your problem is if you go on, on more, uh, you go right here. I'm gonna click a, a few times, and you're gonna select PDF 1.4. Now your problem is solved. But if you want to save this and uh, save this to use it later as a preset, you can go to manage presets and then create a preset. You get, you're going to give it a name. It's going to be like this. When you press OK, now you have a preset. Uh, you can see that mine is uh, named Corel Draw because uh, if I export something for Corel Draw, I'm going to make it compatible with it at least. And uh, if you close this, you can select your preset, whatever the name you made or write there. Um, you can press export. Uh, let's give it a name. Uh, this will be the test tree because I made a lot of recordings. And right now, um, what's, uh, what's the best thing on, on this method is that the size, it will be the same. For example, uh, the size of my uh, project here, uh, the white background, it's uh, 130, uh, 1 meter and 30 with uh, 1 meter. So if we're going to import the file that I just exported right here, if you're going to import it, uh, you're going to see something new because uh, until now you got the corrupt uh, file uh, error. So if you press on curves and then press OK, you're going to be able to paste your project uh, with the same with the same size and uh, you can send it to cut it, print it or whatever you want. Uh, I'm not going to keep you more because I know that <laughs> if you solved your problem, is you're not going to listen to this. But uh, if you like this, maybe consider subscribing or liking and maybe comment if you liked it, if it worked for you, or any problems that you have, maybe I can solve them and make a new video with it. Uh, thank you for watching, uh, have a great day, bye.